What is going on guys? This is my YouTube channel, I Fish Fresh and Salty. My name is Ernie, if you guys don't know. And I got another collab, guys. We got Chris, What's Crispy Fish, man. Right here, I'm gonna be putting his, uh, um, he doesn't have an Instagram account, but I'm gonna be putting down his um, YouTube channel right here in the description on the screen for you guys. We're going out for crabbing. As you guys notice, Jamie, go ahead and check a look. I got Jamie in the background, uh, uh, being the camera guy for right now. 40 crabs. We went out, came back. We were gonna do some bottom fishing um, conditions, guys, which you're about to see right now. No bueno, absolutely not not good. Chris got a little sick yeah. on us. <laughs> Literally a couple times, you know, we tried, but what a trooper, man. We'll be bringing, bringing him back again in the future, but that's what Mother Nature is about. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys back at the house. So guys, we just came out here. Weather conditions are pretty sloppy. So we're just pulling up the first pot. We got deckhand member Jamie. He's been on the channel several times, guys. What's up, guys? So we're pulling it up. Uh, it's foggy out here in Half Moon Bay. And yeah, let's see how uh, we got four people on deck. Let's see uh, if we can get limits. We got color! Nice, look at that. Booyah! Yeah, it's a nice one. Looks like we got all males in there, no females. Looking good, dropping down candies. There they go. Love it. Crabbing season, guys. Freaking such a privilege. Oh, looks like this guy lost. He lost a claw. They got him. But he's coming home still, beautiful size. So once again, guys, fresh bait jars right there. Um, our carcasses is right there. And we, we just reload them, drop them back, drop it back down. Garbage can, we're gonna get it to the top. So first time, Chris is pulling up one of uh, one of the pots, guys. He's got the the grabber for the buoy. He's ready to rock and roll to do the work on the ace line hauler here. So up the top, up on this one, and then down, up around, and turn them on. Come on in. Yeah, come come over here, Chris, and just just pull them ahead. And we got five uh, five keepers. That's a six or oh, six keepers. Oh, six keepers on Chris's pot that he pulled up. Nice. Yeah. stuff that I was talking about see that yeah yeah guys so we got pot number three coming up right now I gotta keep my balance because uh, it's a little choppy out here more than normal but crabbing pulling pots is just really possible fishing sometimes you just could be a little you know uncomfortable but it's your preference pot number four we'll take it I'm on a full pot but we will take it. We gotta keep that number increasing. Let's see, one, two, seven. seven. Pot number four, that would give us uh, 26. 26, four pots. Almost there. style looking pot coming up and we'll take it not too many so another seven count perfect I'll take it seven's a good number
And that is it, guys. We, to get 40 uh, Dungeness crabs, we're just doing one more final count just to make sure uh, every person on here gets 10. That's a uh, limit per day. Even if you're crab staring off the beach, it's per day, 10 Dungeness crab per day. So beautiful size keepers. Gonna be cooking up something good, guys. We got Chris right here. I didn't really uh, get him in. He's been not feeling well, guys. Um, you guys always notice I, I do wear this patch and I wear it for a reason. It's obviously not to get seasick, especially if I'm filming videos and stuff. I wanna make sure that I'm focused. Chris accidentally didn't put his on and you know, it's, it's just, it's a little rough out here. So he's not feeling well. He's been throwing up a little bit, but um, it's reality. That's what it is. So if you guys can get these, get them. I 100% recommend them more than those pills or whatever the Dremamine or whatever they're called. But dinner for days. Welcome back to the house, guys. Pretty sloshy day out there. Man, I hope you feel better, Chris. I mean, sometimes Mother Nature gets the best of you. And as you guys notice, you know, those patches that I do use, um, they definitely do work for me. Um, I'm not sure if they'll work for everybody else, but yeah. So anyways, let's get into this delicious cooking, guys. I already did boil our uh, fresh Dungeness crab and they are ready to be sauteed. So I'm gonna be sauteing them um, in, a, in a pan. I have my oil um, nice and hot. But first, before we do that, we're gonna be we're gonna be putting some uh, some grapeseed oil. I'm just gonna be drizzling it on all of the tan crab that I have right here. First thing, I'm gonna be using this uh, Baja Citrus marinade mix. A nice healthy scoop of garlic here. Some paprika. and some cayenne pepper. Give it some nice, nice heat. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up with my hands really quick, guys. It's exactly the colors you guys are looking at. Perfectly seasoned. I did get my hands dirty, guys, and I perfectly seasoned every piece of cluster, legs, claws. This is ready to be on the woks with the hot oil, guys. We got the wok here, and got the oil nice and hot. I'm gonna see Put in about a couple, as many as I can. And I'm gonna be uh, flipping them back and forth just so they get nice and, uh, we're not frying them, we're just sauteing them. All right guys, perfect amount of, um, of sauteing. And we're gonna go ahead and put them on our, in our nicely neat platter here. Ready for the dinner table. Check that out, guys. Does that not look good or what? We're just gonna go ahead and keep on putting the, the Dungeness crab into our pots. And we'll see you guys at the dinner table. I'm on my second plate right now and I just made another plate exactly like the first one so I've never had saute Dungeness crab or any type of crab absolutely unbelievable huge credit to my mom she's the one that kind of told me to put all these uh, ingredients together and a plus if you guys put all that I mean I know it wasn't a certain amount but it, it was a perfect amount um, at the end of it, I added uh, garlic salt. So if you guys wanted to ever try it, just go ahead and add a little bit of garlic salt. 
And the flavor obviously gets super messy. The flavor of sauteed food, if you guys have it, first of all, it's good, but imagine fresh Dungeness crab. I use these little shears just to, I mean, you could use your mouth. I, I sometimes use my mouth, but um, just use these shears just to pop the, pop the shell. And you get that delicious, look at that, Eddie. Get that in there. Are you kidding me? Fresh, sweet. Absolutely don't need any butter if you were just gonna literally boil this crab. Zero, you could just eat it just like that. Obviously we made some right rice, Caesar salad. Let's ask, let's ask my sister. Let's see what she thinks about it. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, well done. Um, it is far, by far my favorite so far. Really? With this flavor. Being sauteed, love, check that out guys. It, ha it has that Cajun flavor uh, that I love. Um, so many flavors going on. When you eat a crab, really like, it's the bread breading inside of it that you taste. Um, but the flavoring on the outside just makes it just 10 times more better. Way um, better. The shell on this, watch, if I bite it, it's it's super soft. Wow. You don't even need like those crunchers or anything. No, you don't. Like, literally. That, look, like, look at it's that. Just, it's like. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if it's because we boiled it and obviously we sauteed it and just made that shell so much <clears throat> tenderized, right? Yes. I would assume, but yeah. the flavor, like, the crab by itself is good, but the outside flavor, unbelievable, guys. Nice. So, family right right behind us is obviously devouring this food as well. Me and my sister are just talking along, giving you guys a little review. Hope you guys liked this video, and there will be plenty more Dungeons Crab I'm probably going to do. I might do, my brother doesn't know, but he's right behind the camera. We might do brother versus brother crab snaring on the beach. That would be pretty epic. And maybe do a catch and cook out there on the beach, guys. I hope you guys like it. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that bell notifier. I'll see you guys on the next one, guys. Later.